Hey guys, this is Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms, and today I'm doing a review of my 10 cubic foot generic dump cart. This is a Murray branded one from 2004, but uh, it's sold under as many names and brands as there are days in the year. Uh, this might look a little different than the one you're going to find at the store. That's mostly because those tires have been changed out more times than I can count come with a taller skinnier tire from the factory and uh, you know with age they get dry rotted the tubes go bad on mine because it lives outside the uh, the rim itself the metal part finally rusted through but uh, any uh, Harbor Freight Northern Tools those cheapo tires they sell there will fit on it and do just fine it lowers the height a little bit but it really doesn't affect its functionality anyway I paid like $79 for this thing on sale these were leftovers. They were given away if you bought a tractor. Uh, I think it was Home Depot back in the day. And amazingly, several people had decided not to buy it, or not to take it, even though it was free. So they put them on clearance for $79 at the end of the season. And I picked it up. It came in a box that was like two inches thick and four feet long. And uh, yeah, lots of, lots of bits and pieces, lots of nuts and bolts. But pretty straightforward to assemble. It just took a while. And it's a dump cart. This rear uh, panel comes off and uh, pretty sturdy. I don't know what the official rating for this little tractor pull behind cart is, but I know I have filled it uh, overflowing with both gravel, mulch, and dirt. And that dirt was like wet dirt. So I'll bet, I'll bet there was six or 700 pounds in this thing, easy. Probably more than that now that I think about it. As you can see, the paint is uh, completely wasted on the inside, but all that rust you see there is just surface rust. It's actually pretty thick gauge steel, and it's held up extremely well. Um, I mean, look at it. 2004, and I've used this thing. I mean, I have abused this thing. And occasionally hitting it with a hammer maybe to get something to go back into shape. But other than that, I got no complaints. I can't even tell you how many tons of material have been moved in the back of this thing. But compared to a wheelbarrow, man, what a back saver. If you can find one of these things for sale for, say, $100 to $125, it is definitely worth picking up. And so if every two or three years you have to replace a $15 tire or put an inner tube in it for $15, that's, that's not a bad deal. I give it an A plus, and I'm not kidding. This generic, plain Jane, little teeny weeny 10 cubic foot dump cart that I picked up so many years ago has paid for itself so many times over again. I can't count. But before this, it was all wheelbarrows. And since this, those wheelbarrows have been collecting dust, and I hope I never have to go back to them. So you'll see this, you know, Home Depot carries it, Lowe's carries it, Harbor Freight probably has one. And you know, you'll see it spray painted green and it'll be a John Deere brand, or spray painted yellow and it'll be a Cub Cadet brand, spray painted orange, it'll be a Husqvarna brand, but it's all made by the same manufacturer. If anyone has any idea who that manufacturer is, let me know, I couldn't find any reference to it. This uh, model number came up as a Murray, but uh, you know, they're out of business. Maybe. MTD? I'm not sure. But a great little addition to any riding mower out there would be to get one of these. You'd be surprised at what you can do. Now you can throw some hay in there and drag the kids around if you want to. So that's it. It's a short review, but uh, I thought it was worth mentioning since I had the review of that Blue Hawk over there that was not such a positive review. You would think that would be so superior to this, but it turns out this is so superior to that. So, I hope you enjoyed this short video. I hope you got some good information out of it. If you did, please subscribe and uh, let me know what you'd like to see next because spring is here.